we're going to compute a derivative here. Now, this is from section 2.4, which is called the product and quotient rule. But how do we know that we're going to use a product rule here? Well, these two terms are multiplied together. So we're going to take a derivative of a product. So let's write down the product rule first. F times G prime is F prime G plus F times G prime. So that's F, that's G. When we take the derivative, we'll do it down below here. So I'm just rewriting t squared plus 6t plus 5 times 2t squared plus 2. We're taking a derivative, so I had an extra parenthesis to say that we're differentiating the whole product. So it is the first one, t squared plus 6t plus 5 prime. Now I'm just copying over the second one, 2t squared plus 2, not prime. So this is f prime, that's g. Now, regular f, t squared plus 6t plus 5 times g prime, 2t squared plus 2 prime. All right, once it's in this form, <clears throat> we just take these derivatives like normal. So we're going to do this one first. Derivative of t squared is 2t plus 6 times t to the 0, which is 6. Derivative of 5 is 0. There's no derivative on that term, so just copy it down. No derivative on this term. But we do need to do this derivative. So it's t squared derivative is 2t times 2. 4t derivative of 2 is 0. We can just leave it like this, totally fine. Uh, the plus 0, that's not needed, that could go away. <clears throat> but you could distribute this out and collect your like terms. Looks like the highest power here, you'll get a t to the fourth if you multiply it all out. But this is just fine, fine to leave it like this. Uh, you don't need that plus zero. It could have just ended it right there. I believe that's what we're about to see right there. Okay, this is f prime of t. What we just computed. Now the second part of this is what do we get when we plug in three? So we have to take the derivative first. We already did that. Now wherever I see a t, I'm going to put a three in there. So just highlight two, three, four, five places we get the plug in. Two times three plus six, two times three squared plus two, two squared plus six times two plus five, four times two squared. Okay, after this, you just uh, compute this out. That's just numbers. Just be careful with your order of operations, and the number you should get is 624. But if you are answering uh, your homeworks on my open math, you should be able to type this expression right in that blank, and it should evaluate it out to be 624.